let's say I'm on I'm playing on E7 and I find myself around here to improvise I want to start a diminished arpeggio on string one then I know I, I know I've got one here how do I know that I'm not necessarily thinking okay where is the flat seven of E I'm thinking in terms of shapes so for this I visualize my E7 here and I know I can start a diminished arpeggio from this this here. So you know I visualize, uh, let's say one one string down and one fret to the right to where my pinky is. Does that make sense? Then I know there's another one where my root is, but on string one. Same fret as my root, but on string one, I know there's another diminished arpeggio there. Uh, I use, in other places, uh, other spots of the fretboard, I use this. Right, so this is like a D7, but up two frets. arpeggio starts from there fret 4 string 1 in this case so I've got just to recap there's four in E7 I will have the first available one on the fretboard will be this one are you guys familiar with this voicing it's just an E7 so two four three four yeah so where your pinky is that's where you start your, you can start a, a diminished arpeggio. That's the third of E. The, so that's my first shape. The next available one is this here. Just like your regular E ninth, you know, the, the gypsy jazz shape. And so the diminished arpeggio starts there with your ring finger is same fret as the root on string one then the next available one is this here so i use i visualize this this way of playing e7 right x seven nine seven nine seven X7977, it's a bar chord, the A7 shape, right? My, my middle finger is, is in that weird place so that you guys can see. I don't normally play it like that. It's just to show you exactly what I'm pressing. So then when I visualize that, I know I've got, I can start a diminished arpeggio. One fret to the left on string, sorry, one fret to the right on string one to where my pinky is. <laughs> And the very last one is based off of this one. Bar chord, E7 shape from fret 12. So that one starts on the flat 9, so I know, see, on fret 12 here I've got my root. So I go up one fret and start my diminished arpeggio there. It's very useful to think in terms of shapes when we can. And again, that combined with knowing your intervals for then your one chord, which is the exercise I get you guys to do now, is what will allow you to build meaningful phrases, really. They don't need to be anything complicated you know the first thing is the, to have in mind is the audience and it just needs to come across as you need to be clear just like when we talk if we if we're explaining something we need to be clear even if we're if we are telling a story Right? We don't necessarily want to 
talk about all the single details of you know what, what our main character had for breakfast if it's not relevant does it make sense <laughs>